tip of the morning to ya. <laughs> there are two things that have changed how I use KeyCAD that save me a bazillion clicks, keep me in the zone and focused on the circuit, and just make life a whole lot better when doing schematic and layout. Hi, I'm Pat Deegan, and I've been designing modules, toys, IoT devices, instrumentation, and more for a good while now. In fact, I just found my first public post about KeyCat, and it's from 2016, and things have only gotten better since then. In the decades since, I've developed a lot of techniques to make better, and here I'll share two that are total game changers. One is really dumb and easy once you think about it, but I'm going to start with the other one, because there is one thing with KeyCat that pays more dividends to make you smoother, faster, and more focused than anything else. Now, I'm sorry that this is the one thing, but I want to convince you that it's worth it. First, check it in action. Pay attention not to the circuit, but to how I build it up. Okay, let's add a lead. Okay, don't need to see that. Let's put it away. Goodbye. Wire this up. Select all that. Repeat. Duplicate. Select. Duplicate. Select. Duplicate. Now we have them all. References are pretty ugly, though. Let's move them all in one go. Okay, now these are a little bit fat. Let's say one millimeter. That's pretty good. Now give me a ground. Ground. Okay, wire that. Wire. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Give me a label. AOO. Put it there. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Boom. Not too bad. I'm thinking about the circuit the whole time, and I do a lot with only a few moves. I never go out of the area. My hand stays on the mouse the whole time, except when typing one label, and I don't hunt around in context menus. What makes this possible is today's sponsor, Hotkeys. Grown, I hear you. Yes, of course. But no, wait. I don't mean just using keyboard shortcuts. I mean working out a smart system that will really allow you to flow, be in the zone, and maximize what Mother Nature gave you. I mean this. <laughs> Now it looks like a lot, but there's a simplified approach and I'll break it down. Even in that blog post 10 years ago, I was already thinking about hotkeys. In that time, I've developed a system that I find amazing and it's this. This is the key map for schematic entry. And this is the key map for PCB layout. Now, must you print out a giant key map like this? No. Should you print out a giant key map? No. Probably not. <laughs> but I did this to emphasize how important I think it is. I'll show you the simple version in a sec and a way to get my hotkey map that you can just import as well as a customizable diagram like this that you can tweak to your liking. The way shortcuts are set up by default is mostly about mnemonics, but that's really quite meh. Your mind can map anything to anything, so might as well do it right. Look, you have two hands, and KeyCAD is about things represented in space. So the mouse is super important. You leave your hand on the mouse. To do that, any action that isn't moving or typing happens with the other hand. What we do in circuit design follows a sort of power law. So like a Dvorak keyboard, you put things you do more often in easy to trigger spots, and less often can be further away. So the recipe for creating a killer hotkey map is this. Important popular actions, closest. Anything that's uh, common or logically related, say placing a wire in skim and laying down a track in layout, they go to the same key in both programs. Cluster things that go together, together. And finally, actions that require typing, like labels say, can be under the mouse hand since you're going to be moving anyways. Now, here's a simplified schematic capture key map. Set up and learn only these, and I'm sure you'll be convinced to add more soon enough. Now, I'm not saying that this is the perfect map, but it's the process that matters. You can customize to your liking. Here, top left in red is moving things. Drag, move, rotate. Then in green, adding things, wires, components, duplication, buses. In blue, actions that pop up dialogues. Properties, value, the props panel. And then on the right, because I'm right-handed, the text entry stuff where I'll need both hands anyways. Now, watch as I switch back and forth between schematic and layout key maps. The rotate, drag, move the wire duplication, add, the edit, the property panel, highlight, they're all in the same place. At the top, set up as well, ERC and DRC are basically the same idea. Switching between skim and layout, same thing, so same place. At the bottom, fast grid switching, the property panel. You can do all that and still leave your hand on the mouse. I also have some stuff on the right, basically for zoom, that I can access with uh, my thumb from the mouse. Now, if you take the time to learn to use these in a pattern like this, you'll completely change how you operate and your mind will stay laser focused on the electronics rather than dealing with a zillion micro interruptions to where you're looking and thinking. Then you expand that list to incorporate the full set if you want, and I bet you will. I spent a lot of time creating this and you can download my mapping for Dvorak or Curity, but I've also prepared a nice SVG file, including a bunch of different keyboards that you can tweak to your liking for easy reference. Just check the links next to the video. 
Do a project or two with the key map image handy and you'll be totally rocking before long. Next, the dumb trick that changes a lot. First, I'd like to mention that these are just two of the tips and techniques I've gathered into a full KiCad course. If you're looking to get more done faster and unlock all the best KiCad features, check it out in the link below. It's packed with tips and it's free. The second trick is about grids, something that happens a lot when building schematics is wiring one thing to another. Now, imagine you had a really tiny grid, just how much more slow and frustrating it would be to try and arrive at the exact spot where you want to tie a connection. Now that's ridiculous, of course, but though it's not as bad on a 127 50 mil grid, it's still a micro step that needs more fine motor control and concentration than if you stick to a 254 100 mil grid. So that's the first step. Stick to a 100 mil grid and your life will be a tiny bit easier a thousand times a day. But here's the problem. The way the default keycad symbols for resistors and capacitors are set up, the pins are on the 100 mil grid, but you're grabbing the things by the center of the body, which isn't. So you place it and the pins end up off grid, impossible to wire to, frustrating. So for a long time, I just dropped the resistor, then move the cursor closer to a pin, grab it, drop it again, and that would uh, reposition it. So both pins would be on the 100 mil grid. For every new resistor, every new capacitor, frustrating. Eventually I realized, hey, making my own versions of these was uh, always allowed. So I did that. All it took was copying the device symbol to my own lib, but moving it so one of the pins landed on the anchor at the origin. Did this for L, C, and R, and now whenever I add one, I'm already holding it by the pin, so it's always on grid and means one less move every time I place a passive. Also did a few other things like tighten up the lead, so now you can have an array of them that can easily be placed in line with other symbols like chips and connectors without stepping on each other's toes. I've got my database library set up to point through these symbols, so parts that are in there all work smashingly, but you can just use it as your source for custom parts or use the symbols directly. It's easy to derive your own custom versions of the built-in symbols that work for you, or you can just download my basic lib from somewhere under this video. And if, like me, your time is money, or you just want to make the most out of KiCad, take the full course. It has all the tips and resources in one place and a full project walkthrough. If you're a beginner to KiCad, I've got you covered in there too. I want to see more people making more designs with KiCad, so the whole thing is free. Give it a go and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more KiCad tips or just check out the full course. In the meantime, cheers. <laughs>